How's it going? Welcome back to Ghost of Tabor, and today we finally got the new patch we're waiting for that adds the new map, the John Wick DLC, melee system, bunch of other stuff. We're gonna go through everything real quick, and we're gonna hop in and see everything for ourselves. This is my first time getting the game, so all I've seen so far is the new, like, some of the new hideout additions. We got a new UI in there as well, which looks really nice. So, first thing I just noticed, we got timeless VR, we got our level up here in the top right, nice and clean UI. Look, listen to this. Little pink little nice little sound effect okay but anyways i have the patch notes pulled up right here we're gonna read through them real quick so the big thing is the new map it's currently bugged right now but i'm recording this intro segment first and then we'll we'll cut to the new map when it's out and ready to play next big thing is the new john wick dlc we've all been waiting for it's four dollars so actually really cheap and you get a bunch of stuff we're gonna go through all that here in a second and it looks like the bleeding and bandage mechanics actually made it into the patch which i, I wasn't expecting but we got it and look at this look at this boys mosin and an M190A3. That is sick. I was not expecting two bold action. That was going to be really freaking dope. And we also got the insurance and the weight system in this patch. I was not expecting this at all. So those are like the main big things of the update. Uh, you can read through the rest if you want. But the other big things are the melee system. Added a sound when opening crates and cabinets. New UI. New throwing mechanics. Bunch of bug fixes. Yada, yada, yada. And a couple of map changes as well as we got the new tutorial map and the Ronin helmet. So we're going to go check it out right now. I'm going to first check out the uh, tutorial level. I haven't been here yet oh okay we got a new loading screen we get a shooting range like that that's it yo oh this looks this looks way loads better boys look at this we got a little glock here so we actually got an indoor shooting range looks like we might have like a a shoot house kind of thing going here that's pretty dope so we got our glock here you can see the index finger is a lot better so we still don't have like the trigger uh animation but our finger actually rests off the trigger let's go ahead and do a little shoot test. I went ahead in here. We got an AK. You know, I'm not going to mess around with this too much, but. Nice little indoor firing range, man. This is dope. MP5, same stuff. Come over here. Got a Barrett, the long range targets. We got some up in the crates there. A really cool building. I'll give them that. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's the Terran Tactical Benelli, baby. Oh, that looks sick. No way. It's even got an extra 12 gauge storage here. What does that say? Last something? I can't read. But oh my gosh. Okay, let's get let's get some buckshot going here. So can we actually put this? Nice. That's actually really cool. And then we just load her up. Chamber it. All right. So we'll just max load this thing up with like seven or eight shells, however many it can hold. I think it's eight. Is that it? Yep. Eight. Chamber one. And we got the freaking Benelli. Look at that, dude. <laughs> yeah, baby. My frame rate is dying on those metal hits, though. But, oh, I accidentally took the spare round out. This thing is going to do some damage. Damn! We actually have a whole shoot house as well. Because it looks like it's just like Pavlov. You got the whole entire thing. You come in here. Weapon crate. Ooh, it's got a little sound effect. See? All right. All right. That's cool. That's actually really dope. All right, we got an M4 and a little sight to Rooney. Ooh, look at... Yo, the boxes have physics now. That's really cool. That's dope. And a helmet box with nothing in it. I got a knife module. And then here's our tutorial stuff. Who cares about tutorial stuff? That all looks about the same. Ooh, I wonder if they, they fixed the drinking, right? You can actually drink stuff now? Whoa! He's gulping. Yeah, that works. Thank God. <laughs> that shit was annoying. Then we got a little scab right here. Do the scavs bleed with, with the bleed system? I wonder if they do. I don't think he is. I don't I don't really know why they would have the bleeding system, but hey buddy. Just give him a little headshot. What else do we have in here? The night vision course, all this stuff is all the same. I wanna see the new throwing mechanics though. So let's just toss a grenade. Okay. There's a lot <laughs> the grenades are a lot heavier now. It's more like uh contractors in that sense. So if we we actually have to like Oh, yeah, that's way freaking better, man. What are you looking at, buddy? Get out of my way. Yeah, I love the new grenades. That's great. And then we extract in the plain bathroom. Very nice spot. Okay, let's go back to the safe house. Well, that's really cool. It's a really nice tutorial level. And uh, I don't know if the lighting looks different in the bunker. I feel, like it, I feel like it does. But let's just quickly explore the bunker, see if there's anything new. I did notice when I was pouring my gas, they added a little save spot here for gas cans or whatever you want. The vault is also the exact same, I believe. They removed the TV for some reason. I'm not sure why. I have a vest up here? Bro, this has been up here since, like, wipe. Holy shit. So I think everything else is the same in the, the hideout. So let's go ahead and check out the John Wick weapons. I'm super excited to see these. So it actually gave me 
all of them somewhere down here. The John Wick Wakazashi Katana. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's small. It's a little small thing. Ooh, it feels good, though, to handle. The handling's really nice. Can I stab something with it? I want to... Oh! Stab the wall. Yeah. But, oh, uh, you can two-hand it. Yeah, the handling actually feels pretty good. Two-handed is actually pretty solid as well. All right, so next, let's check out the 1911. This is the Terran Tactical 1911. Oh my god. This looks sick. Let's get the mag for it. So we actually got an extended mag this time around. It's not even loaded. You couldn't come preloaded. It's all good. Slide that in. Woo! Look at that. Oh, there goes the mag. That is a very nice looking gun. All right, next is the John Wick Glock 34. We've seen this before, but... Oh, they made it look even different, I think. It looks way better. This looks really dope. I'm gonna use this all the time. Yeah, this new trader UI is super nice as well. But let's try the Benelli we saw earlier. So yeah, this thing's gonna be super fun as well. Oh, and then the MPX. This is my favorite of the, the whole pack. This Sig Sauer MPX. Mm, it's got carbon fiber on, along the barrel, man. Let's get a mag for it. Look at that. It's also, none of these are loaded for some reason, but this is a really nice looking gun. I think this might be my favorite gun in the game. Look how nice it looks. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we also got the M4 skin for the one-shot energy. Yes! Hell yeah, dude. I didn't actually enter my code to get this yet, so I don't know why I have it. Maybe they gave it to everyone. <laughs> one. It says one on there. So to get this skin unlocked, you have to uh, purchase a box of one-shot energy shoes in real life. They go set the board back, which you can use code TIME to get 10% off. So if you do want to pick yourself up a pack, you'll get some nice energy chews along with this pretty cool M4 skin. So link will be in the description if you are interested in grabbing one of these for yourself. But I think that is all of the new John Wick stuff. Oh, I forgot about the insurance system. Did I even cover that? We got insurance now, baby. Ooh, a Tar 21. Dude, look at that. What else, other guns we got back there? MPX, flamethrower, RPG, SG. We got some Winchester lever actions in there. Dude, what up, my man? You look different. You look different than the last time I saw you. How you doing? He's got a mustache now. <laughs> All right. So he sells the one-shot M4, which I guess I can't buy because I do need to enter my code or whatever. And then Terran Tactical. Oh, yes. It's so cheap. 6,000 bucks. Let's give this a shoot test real quick. That is good. No recoil on that. What's the mag capacity, though? 20? It looks like 20 shots per mag, but uh, that is really nice. No recoil. No recoil at all, man. Woo, baby. And a 1911. Give me a mag for that, dude. Slide that in. This music is sick, by the way. I wonder if Soul BC picked out this song. This sounds like a Soul BC song. Just hard rocking. All right, let's try this 1911. Let's give it a shot. That's a really large mag size. Nice, dude. The 1911 is going to be so much more viable with that big mag. All right, so we'll go next page. There's the Glock mag. There we go. Shoot this. So yeah, it feels like a normal Glock, but it looks 10 times cooler. And of course, the Benelli. We saw that earlier. I love the new Trader UI, though. It looks really nice. And the Wakazashi, man. Oh, it's stuck in the wall. Only 220 bucks for the Wakazashi? It's so cheap. It's less expensive than a mag. So we should have more bolt actions. Uh, not sniper rifle, bolt action. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look, man. This thing looks crazy. Oh, it's already loaded. And then we got the Mosin. Dude, Hunter's got nothing on these guns now. Look how ugly the Hunter is compared to the Mosin, baby. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad this came, this patch. Yeah, these look super fun, man. Super cheap guns, too. Cheaper than the Hunter, which is interesting. Ooh, the Springfield shoots 30 out 6, too. This is going to hit like a truck. And then the Mosin is a 7.62 by 54, which is also a bigger caliber than the Hunter. So I find it interesting that it's cheaper. I don't know. We're going to have some fun, man. This patch is going to be fun. I think that's all the guns they added, right? Oh, the new 5.7 model came out. Yo, look at that. That looks sick. The safety switch works now, too. Look at that. Nice. No pain, no gain. Wait a second. This this Spectre song is uh is the Spectre took Merrick's song, bro. Wait, what's Merrick's song then? Did they change his song? No, it's the same. Yo, he took your song, bro. Okay, so that's all the same as well. I'm just wondering if they added anything else in here. New grenades, I think. Yes. We got a new model for the RGD. Look at that. Let's throw that. Oh, sorry, dog. Oh god. And we got the M67, baby. So yeah. Oh, that throwing is so much better. 
like loads better. All right, so I'm gonna give it like a light toss. Like I'm like I'm throwing a football. Let's see how far it goes. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, the throwing is so much better. It's so much better. And apparently Spectre yoinked that song because he's got the same one. Yep. <laughs> My guy, I love this song. I'm glad he took it. Oh, the new helmet. I totally forgot. I was just thinking about it right when I came over here. We should. Oh my God. That looks insane. 45,000. Oh, yo, it's got. Oh my God. This is nuts. Hopefully this doesn't look like shit for you guys. It doesn't look too bad. It has like, it has like the pink vignette. This is sick. Wow. We got to do some testing with that for sure. 45K is not too bad. It's it's more it's way more expensive than the Alton, but look at that, man. That's sick. We'll test that out a little bit later. The, the fact that we actually have all of this in a in a patch, like they call this a patch. So the wipe is still coming in about maybe a month. So if, the, if they added this much to the patch, imagine the wipe, all the content that's going to be there. I just noticed this little utility belt here. Do you have to buy that gear? Pouch. Oh, wait, you do have to buy the pouch. Whoa, ammo pouch. It, yo, I didn't notice that. See, this is the stuff they fail to mention in the patch notes. You just got to figure it out. <laughs> Look, you got a little ammo pouch. Put some spare shotgun shells or rifle rounds, whatever you want in there. That's super sick. I think that's everything with the market. I did want to see the insurance. So we go... We actually don't do it here at all. I guess we do it in the hideout. Oh, here's the insurance. Insure all items. It's very cheap to insure some of these things, it looks like. So that's cool. So in order to insure, it looks like you have to actually buy it from the trader. So you can buy things insured. But I wonder if you can insure things you already own. I don't know. So the Wakizashi, we can actually holster on our left hip there. So if you run out of ammo mid-fight, you go hua! Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. That's so freaking cool. All right, so we are back. It has been a few hours. And look, my Kamiest has finally popped up on the kiosk. It is out. We see it's a medium difficulty maps. The capital and largest city of Tabor. It's the 11 centuries to get the look you see today. Look at that, 11 centuries. 496 square kilometers and formerly housed 1,240,000 inhabitants. So Mother City is a former shadow of herself in an active conflict zone between factions. So we got a little bit of lore of Modcom Yest. Currently only six players, but that is going to go way up in the future when the rest of the map comes out. But it's finally out. It has been hours. I'm so happy. You already know we're going to start it off with like just a little John Wick run, right? So I'm going to grab me a freaking katana. And don't worry, we're going to get a ton of raids in here. We're going to do a lot of the different weapons that are new. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in Modcom Yest. We're going to start it off with a lighter raid, but don't worry, we're going to get crazy kitted here after with the new Ronin helmet and the MPX. So hopefully the servers are okay now, but we're starting it off with the Terran Tactical 1911. This thing's going to be fun. And I got a katana as well on my left hip. So we're loading in. Oh, this loading screen looks so good. Look at that building right there. We're in. We spawn at the graveyard. This map is beautiful already. Oh, the design looks amazing. Look at, oh, look at all the body bags. We got the fish on the wall. Oh my gosh, boys. This is insane. Beautiful map. And it's running It's running great. Let me know how it runs on the quest. They said it, ran, it runs great, but let me know how your guys is running. A new map. We've never had a new map before. Feels like I'm first playing the game again. Oh my gosh, where do we go? I don't even know where we are. Does that say Soul? Soul, you cheeky man. <laughs> Put his name on the wall. Alright. So I'm gonna go... Hey, yo, what are those statues doing? I don't know if I should show those statues, bro. That looks pretty explicit. But it's art. It's just art. I heard some footsteps. Oh, gas. Gas spawns right there. Another Soul painting. Oh god. Yo, 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 come here, come here, come here, quick! Run, run, run! I'm come here, come here! I, I know, I know, me too, me too, me too, come on! What's up, bro? Cool, man. I didn't want to go kid it, because you can kill him if you want, but like, I'm just looking around. What, this map is sick, thing? dude. It looks fucking insane. No, this is only half. Yeah, it's only this half. Only half. <laughs> dude, your voice has like an echo. Do you hear that? It does. Say oh, something. I do hear it. You just yell, just yell. yell. Ah! Oh, I can hear it. Now, really you, cool. you yell, you yell. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, bro. That's so cool. I hear church I bells. Oh, oh fuck! Was that a scav? Maybe. Yeah, it's just a scav. Oh, they added this game. Remember this Dungeons of Eternity. Oh yeah. Yeah, they have uh, ads for the for the games that people can pay for and put their games in. That's really cool. Can I can I katana you? Like wah. Oh, bet. I'm gonna, probably gonna bleed, but you know. It's okay. Yeah! Ugh. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, rip. Rip my man. Alright, we just had to get rid of him, because I'm trying to explore this map. 
This looks nuts. This is running so good. Oh my, I'm like in awe right now. Okay, let's keep going. So yeah, like that, like that guy just pointed out. There's actually advertisements like in the game that that companies will pay for, like wands, wands, alliances. Actually, a really cool little thing. This map is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so well done. I hear the church bells in the back. I'm getting scared, like running out here though, in the open. I don't know how big it is. Like, where can I go to get like loot? Oh, here's something over here, like like a tent. So that's closed off. The nighttime is so cool, dude. When I first heard it was gonna be nighttime, I was a little bit skeptical. Spoon, shout out to Spoon. He did the whole melee system. Here we go. Woo! Look at this. Oh, okay, open the box. Oh, night vision. Give me that. Oh, what the heck? My bag like moved really weird there. Okay, got some boxes. All right, so we got a med shot. I think the servers are pretty overloaded right now, probably. A grip. And in this one, a flashlight. Can I put that on my Glock? There we go. Or my 1911. There we go. That might help us see a little bit. There's the bridge. So eventually, you're going to be able to go over there, too, in that whole other part of the map. Which looks like it's it's mostly already, like, like done in terms of the buildings. At least the general concepts. This map is really massive from what it seems like already. And this is just the first half. You're gonna get all of that in the future. We got some more ads here. We got Breachers! Shout out to Breachers! Look at that! That's super cool. Where else can we go and explore? I heard some shooting earlier, so I'm not really sure. Ooh, that sounded like a, a new bolt action or something. We got someone close. We got some armor there. Med box here. Oh, yeah. Sound design sounds great. I can tell exactly where that guy's coming from. Right up, right across in this building here. Oh, shoot. Someone's getting it down. Oh my gosh, it looks great. I can't get over that. It looks really good. We got some people just up here to the left, it sounds like, in this little alley. Oh, I'm getting shot. Oh, got a player. The bells are ringing again. Oh, I didn't get him. Shoot, reload. Eh. Come on, buddy. Oh my gosh. He wouldn't die. I think he's alone. Kill all these scabs. He didn't really have anything. He had the new uh, Springfield though. Oh, shoot. Is this loaded? Oh yeah, it is. Got a scab coming up, I think. Oh, I missed. Oh, he's messing us up. Let's pop a stim. Try and hit this shot again. Oh no, it's out. Katana. Hey yeah! Die! Okay. Woo! <sighs> this doesn't even look like Ghost of the Look at that look at that church, dude! Can you go inside the church right now? Oh my god, I just love the aesthetic of this map. This is the greatest work they've ever done. Graphically, this is insane. Oh wait, maybe it's not. No, it's not open. It's just this little room right here. So is the church not done either? Looks like it's shut. Unless I can like open it, <laughs> push it open with my hands. But my gosh, does it look amazing. Look at these car models too, like, look at that. All right, let's check out this building over here. A couple of loot boxes scattered around. It looks like our main points of looting are gonna be these little military like outposts. We got tents here. We had those tents back over there. That seems like the best place to get loot and the, the loot seems pretty high tier. We got the little courtyard here. This is gonna make for some great fights too. Like all these cars in the streets and and again, it is running great. Can we get up there? Oh, we can. There's a porta potty too. Oh, there's a loot spawn in here. Let's go baby. We got a site. So we can actually climb some of these scaffoldings. Oh look, there's a box right here too. A little vest in there. We head up to the top and there's a weapons crate. What is that? So we got a grip and some mags. Nothing good. Can I jump from here and not take damage? Yeah, we're good. All right, have we been over here yet? I don't even know where we are. I'm so lost right now. Ooh, look at this building. What is that? 
That's a massive building. I love all the little Easter eggs on the, the graffitis and stuff. The Pezzi Zona. <laughs> all right, another box right here. More night vision. So this seems like a pretty big building as well. I'd imagine they're going to open this one up too. A bunch of loot crates just kind of scattered around here. A hunter spawn there, like a weapon spawn right there. That's really cool. The body bag right there. I haven't been over here yet though. What do we have over here? I've said it before, but like, I think it would be so cool if you could loot these cars, like pop open the trunk and stuff. I wonder if they'll ever add something like that. It was just like, I love that dude. There's just like little spawns all around the city. You got a backpack spawn is on this bench. We saw the, the gun spawn back there. We got another loot crate here. Just a little grip in there. And then what do we have all the way back in this corner? Like, are you kidding me, dude? This is the map we get already. This already feels massive. I hear water. Is there a river over here by the bridge. There's an extract, I think. Yeah, now we're back over here by the river. Can we extract here? No, we gotta go all the way back. We need to look at this river, though. Yo, there it is. The river to the other side. I can't believe this is running so well right now. Oh, God. Wasn't ready for that, man. I was enjoying the views. He's way up there. Is that him? That's a mirror. Wait, where's, where am I getting shot from? Oh, there he is. Yeah, take cover behind the cars and shit. It's so cool. Oh, he took a lot of bullets. <laughs> Combat on this map is going to be so fun. There's so much cover you can hide behind and take fire. And whoever their lighting artist is, like, holy shit. Good job, man. Oh! Gosh! Scavs are pretty good now, too, it seems. We're out of ammo. Hang on there, Buster. I don't even see him. And oh, he's, like, hidden! Moving to the tram. Electrica Drahi Mat Kamiest. Oh, he's dead. Yes. Oh, oh my god. Oh! Damn. They came out of nowhere. Oh. Shit. Woo! Gosh, this map is something, dude. There's more! Woo! Oh my gosh, this is intense. Just with scabs, not even players right now. Oh, someone got shot here. There's a blood splatter. Maybe it was me. I think I got shot there. It looks like, looks like the blood splatters stay up for quite some time then. Oh, here we go. Is this an extract right here? Under the, under the ground? No, it's not. There's some pipe work. I am so lost right now. It looks like we need to go this way to get the extract. Oh, dude, more scaffolding. See, I haven't even been over here yet. This map is massive. Oh my gosh. We can go up this scaffolding as well. More armor. I mean, graphically, this just doesn't even look like Ghost of Tabor. I got another box here. A bunch of ammo. And a med case up here as well. And this loot sucks. I'm unlucky as hell. Can I actually parkour to like get over here? I'm gonna try it. Oh, maybe. <gasps> oh, I bet you can make that. Our extract should be right here at this big tower. Oh my gosh. How is this running so good? How? Genuinely. Like constant 80 frames. And I'm on all ultra settings and it's just running it no problem. Here's our extract. Dude, what a view, man. I love this extract already. You can just kind of sit and watch the view while you extract. And there is our first raid on Maka Yes, The servers are struggling. There we go. So we got one ghost kill. And look at that. I killed a scav with a sword to the spine. Oh my gosh, that was awesome, man. Let's get a little MPX and just deck it out. Let's have another raid. That was freaking awesome. All right, this is raid number two. I don't know where we spawned. It looks like okay, we're over here. I kind of know where we are. Oh, God. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. All right, so this time, 
I've got the Sig Sauer MPX fully kitted. It's got a little flash on the side too. This thing is a monster. I don't know where that scab just went, but it's kind of spooking me. Got him. Okay. Ooh. I hear a bunch of shooting already, so I don't know where people spawn. That's going to take some time to learn, but I also don't know where we are. So that's another concern. <laughs> Oh gosh, a shooting everywhere. I heard some shooting over here, I think. Just hope we don't die quick and lose our MPX. And like there's someone right over here. I don't see anyone. Kind of stick to the cover here. Looks like over here is clear. Head down the street a bit. Dead scav there. Someone was definitely here. I don't know if they went this way or back that way. Gotta constantly watch your back, though. He looted this, okay. Sounds like the military camp. Lots of shots going off. Oh yeah, we're getting real close. All right, stay behind cover. There. Got him. Player down. Let's go. I wonder if there's any more in that area. It sounds like you might have just killed one with all that gunfire. I'm going to watch my back then. I think we're clear on that side. I'm going to try and cross the street here. A little risky because it's very open. Not a ton of cover in this part. I'll have to run to the sedan here. kind of want to loot that guy though. Doesn't look like he had anything though. From what I see... Not sure he had anything. Dead scav. I wonder if he killed it. I'm gonna try to get to his body, but I don't know if that guy had anything. Open container. Oh no, he had some stuff. Wait. Wait, that was a scav. What? That could have sworn it was a player. Maybe it was. Oh yeah, here, here, here. Here it is. I was about to say. Yeah, he just had a couple rifles that he must have found. Nothing good. What's in here? Oh, great. Here, let's get some loot from here. I can't even see. Nothing. A charging port? A sight? Nah, nothing good. Oh. We got movement. He should come around left. Unless he went inside. I don't want to lose this guy. I'm going to chase him. I think he's still up. Yep. Shit. That's a bad throw. Bad need. Bad need. Oh, I'm still getting used to that. All right, we gotta move. We gotta move. What? Well, that went really far. That was my bad mag. Shit. He bled to death. Ha ha. You got a bandage, man. You got to bring bandages. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. What's your name? Gus Gustav. Gustavio. You got to bring meds, man. What are you doing? Get in the car. Go in the car. There you go. Have fun. That guy really didn't have much. Okay, I need to get, I need to get better at the grenade throwing. It is way different now. It's it's better for sure. I just I'm not used to that. We got two players down then. That's a pretty good run. The only thing I wish about this map is that it was like eight players. I know when it comes out, it's going to be like 14 or 16 or something crazy. But, but this map is freaking dope. How do we extract this way? There's graffiti like everywhere. I don't even know what that says. I can't read that. Another little bunker here. All looted though. Oh. Scavenge all the loot already. All right, let's go. Where do we extract? Somewhere down here. That's all I know. Oh, look, there's a gas spawn in the fuel spill. Spill some more. All right, so yeah, I have no idea where I'm at right now. Okay, that's the same extract as last time. So there's an extract down here. I still don't know where I am in this map. <laughs> Actually, what? okay, direction northeast. We're on the north side of the map. I guess that helps me. Will I remember that? I don't know. Was that steam coming from the sewer? Okay, here we go, here we go. Extract, right on the riverside. 
We survived our first two mod yest raids. And we picked up a couple kills. Didn't see as many scavs that time, that's for sure. Yeah, look, I got <laughs> I still got the kill for Gustafio who bled to death. So that's why you gotta bring bandages, man. It's, you gotta bring him, you're gonna bleed. I think I'll give the Benelia whirl, even though it's a... Uh, we can put some slugs in this thing, that would be sick. Yeah, let's put slugs in here and just dome some people. So I'll put this in my bag for now because it's a ammo pouch is a little glitchy, I think. But I'll just keep it in my bag until I get in raid. All right, so we got the freaking Benelli with slugs and the John Wick Glock 34. Boom. Ooh. Oh, we spawned here this time. This is sick. All right, there's my loot. So we take this slugs and we dump it into... Oh, it already has... Oh, crap. There's already shells in my bag. I gotta get them out. I don't want to, I don't want buckshot. All right, they're all out, and then we just kind of dump them. And most of those actually went in. So now we... Yeah, this is way better than what we had to do last time with the ammo boxes. Now we just... Boom, and we're all loaded. We got eight shotgun shells in the Benelli. And I'm hoping we can just dome some people. All right. I don't know where to go. Um, I'm just going to head towards, like, the center of the map, I guess. That's where, like, the most action seems to be with all the military tents and stuff. I don't like this area because it's super bright. Kind of want to stay in the darkness. I'll go this way. All right, we got a loot box real quick. Nothing. Nothing good. Got some gunshots. Crap. Ow. That's a scav. Do you put a sh uh, flashlight on this shotgun? I don't think so. Oh, wait. No, you totally can. Wait. Aha. Bazinga. Got it. That's dope. You shot me, then ran. Oh. Oh my god, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I love this gun. That one tapped him. I think I missed the first two. And that third one hit him right in the chest. And he's dead. He tried to surrender. Um, not the move, man. We're in Matka Miest. You shoot everyone. What is this? He's got nothing in there. Imagine most people are kind of hopping in to check out the map, so they're not bringing anything. I'm bringing my cool John Wick guns to test them out. Oh god. Okay. Where'd that come from? I actually don't know. Oh, people behind us too. That's a scav. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Oh, I'm bleeding bad. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're bleeding really bad. Oh, I got head tapped. No. I thought I was all safe in that tram. I guess there was like two scavs shooting at me, another scav shooting at me, and then a player. That was, uh, that was intense though. Oh, the bleeding system just adds a whole new level of like, oh shit, like <laughs> gotta run. But I'm about to buy this uh, Ronin helmet. We're gonna, we're gonna give this a whirl. This thing looks insane. It has a night vision mount, but I don't think it, I don't know, this thing has a lot of mounts actually. Let's insure it. I, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna insure the Ronin helmet. Even though someone's probably gonna take it, but insurance, baby. All right, we're back for one more raid. We got the M4 one shot skin decked out, level four armor and the freaking Ronin helmet. Oh my gosh. This is a super trippy effect, though. Whoa. Okay, this is tripping me out. I wonder how much protection this thing actually has, though. Probably as good as the Alton face mask, except it's a whole bulletproof mask. Like, nothing's getting through it. I mean, obviously something will. But most calibers are not going through my face hole. Oh, the reflections are weird, though, because it's, like, hard to see. The one's here at the graveyard. Oh. Ah, this guy's lighting me up. Dude, the scavs are crazy now. Wow. Where's this guy? He was just shooting a second ago. Someone in here? No. Where did they go? Sorry, buddy. Maybe that's who was shooting at me? It, was a, it wasn't a scab, maybe it was a guy. It's super hard to see in this freaking helmet. I just hope it at least protects me if it's gonna blind me. But uh, where did that guy go? Got him. Got him. There's another one uh, to our right. How do we get over there? Oh, a scab behind us? Oh shit, we're out? That was not a full mag at all. That was like half empty, man. Got him. Ooh, yeah, the reverb's different. Damn scavs. Get out of here. This guy actually brought some stuff. Look at that. Our first somewhat geared player. He's still pretty light. Gosh, I genuinely can't really see with this thing. 
I don't know how often how often I'm gonna use this uh, Ronin mask. As long as it protects me, I can use it on the occasion, but it is very bright. Okay, this isn't looted yet. Might get some good looties here. Ooh, an MP9, that's pretty good. Try and shove this in our bag here. Nothing. Some money. Nothing much. 40 cal, huh? Oh, look at that. You can, like, phase through the filter. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I don't even know where to go. Anyone alive? Someone died right there. Oh, God. Shit. Out of ammo. Switching to Wakazashi. Wakazashi. You ain't killing me, bro. I'm fucking geared. There we go. I thought I heard something behind me. I just dropped my Wakazashi. Oh, where is it? There it is. I didn't get hit once there. I thought I heard someone over here. I heard like a footstep or something. So yeah, just a bunch of loot boxes kind of scattered around the outsides. So in terms of loot, you're probably not going to find like a ton, but it's more about like the PVP in, in this map is like really freaking dope. And just wait till they finish it. Imagine like 14 or 16 players all on this map and it's like two times larger than this. You can cross the river. You can open the house of Scott with like a special key. To get all the good loot, all these, not all of these, like, uh, very few of these buildings will actually be open, because imagine, like, the performance aspects. But a lot of these buildings will open up. All the effects, you saw the sewer just had some, like, freaking steam coming out. The, the design of the map is just insane, like, this is their greatest work ever. Some nice little tables back here. I'm gonna take off this Ronin helmet. This thing's insured, right? What if I just, like, chuck it in the river? I mean... I got insurance. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone. Insure that. It's in the river, baby. Look at the view. Look at that. That's beautiful. Wow, I, I just sat there for like a whole minute. <laughs> I cut the video, but in real life, I was sitting there for a good minute. Just the vibe is so freaking cool here. Just running around in a city. Like right now, I don't think there's any danger. I think all the players are dead. But like, this is actually really peaceful. Just walking around. With the moonlight. Look at that building, dude. What is that? <laughs> That's insane. What is that building? Okay, where do we extract again? I think we can go this way, right? This is the north side, right? Yes, it is. I know my I know where I am. I'm learning. This is more of the middle or like the middle south. So the bottom middle. This is unlooted too. Hold on, let me loot. MP5, a cog scope. This is some better loot. This isn't too bad. What is that? Oh, power supply. Worth a little bit of money. Should probably start taking those. And our weight, by the way, for the weight system, I didn't even notice. Like, I am not even that much slower at all. <laughs> I had the Ronin helmet, the level 4 armor, and the kitted M4. Uh, I also had a backpack full of this. MP9's in there. We got stims, bandages, and I have a katana on my hip. And this is how fast I am. I dropped the Ronin helmet, but even when I had that on, I couldn't tell I was any slower. So people who complain about the weight system, it's fine. It's perfectly good. Well, yeah, there you have it. That is Matkamiest, Mother of Cities. Beautiful map. I mean, just freaking phenomenal job to the team. It looks so cool. I, I really hope it looks good on Quest, too. I really hope it's not, you know, super stuttery or anything, and it still looks graphically impressive, because PC, it looks awesome. I don't think I've been back here yet. Whoa. I don't know where we are right now. Oh, it's a scav. He's dead. We got a nice little area back here. More military stuff. Is that an extract? Looks like it is. Yeah, it is. Sick. We got some loot at the extract. Bye, Marka. Look at that freaking cathedral, man. Whew. I can't wait till we can actually go inside that building. That was that was really cool. A super impressive map. I'm I really like it. That's probably my new favorite map by far. And once they complete it and add more players to it, it's gonna be unbeatable. Now I'm going to check out the island and missile silo and basically see what all is new there because there is a lot of changes to both of those maps as well. So we'll start with missile silo. We're going to do training runs just to kind of check out the map and see what all is different. All right, so silo. Here we are. Okay, so I forgot my ammo for my other guns because I'm an idiot. But so far, I can't tell the lighting might look better. I think the lighting is slightly different. Let's hear the locker sound effect, right? Nothing. Wait, close it. We slam the locker shut. I can't even grab it. Wait, what happened? Oh. There we go. Ha! Closing sound effects. What's that noise? There's a radio. I hear a radio. You hear that? 
Oh, my ammo didn't come in with me. What? Looks like we only got a katana. I hear a radio down here. You hear that? Where is that coming from? Let's see if we can get him. Oh boy. Just go. Charge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's not even shooting at me. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that was sick. It worked so well. Yeah, the lighting is 100% different. It looks really nice. It's a, it's a bit brighter. Finally, a bit brighter. All right, we're going up to the... Oh yeah, look at that lighting. Way better. Way, way, way better. Much brighter as well. Oh, so much brighter. Thank God. Look at this. This is just what I wanted, dude. I don't know why I'm walking on metal right now, because this is clearly like brick. Yo, look at this. This looks so much nicer. There's some scabs down here. I'm going to slash them. Oh, the Anzia coming. The Anzia is coming. Oh, they see me. <laughs> that is so sick. Freaking katana, baby. Oh, yeah. All the lighting is just so much nicer. The boxes have physics. Okay, man. I forgot about the weight system, too, by the way. So, look, I have a, a decent rig, a shotgun, backpack, and I only weigh about... 40 or so kilograms, or not kilograms, pounds, like 40 pounds or something, 20 kilograms. I'm not noticing any speed reduction or stamina reduction, like, at all, so that's super nice. Ooh, this looks way different. Bunch of new boxes in place. Hello! Yeah. Oh my god, that was sick, I got shot. Am I bleeding? No, we're good. Yo, the 5-7! Yeah, this thing looks hype as hell. Let's try and, uh, let's try and make ourselves bleed. I'm still not bleeding after that. <laughs> I shot myself like maybe because that's like a. I shot my hand. I probably should have shot like my chest or something. I think it takes into account where you shoot yourself. So let's let's heal back up, and let's just shoot ourselves right in the freaking heart. Ow, that hurt. Still not bleeding though. Oh, there we go. We're bleeding. So how much damage does it actually do? Very minimal. It does like less than one bar per bleed yeah it does about half a bar and then another half oh maybe a third even so light bleeding is very minimal it, it does less damage than hunger will so let's see if we can make ourselves a light bleed though or heavy bleed oh we're already heavy bleeding this is a heavy bleed and we're only taking about one third bar per per tick so bleeding is not that bad at all people who were complaining uh you're wrong you're it's fine we're fine so we're actually just like the stim is really doing nothing to me right now you see i have the stim in but it's just like not healing me because we're bleeding out of our minds and i don't even really know if we can find a bandage or not i meant to bring some but i'm kind of an idiot and i forgot so that's not good i was hoping they would spawn in the stim boxes you know but i think i think we're just gonna die here uh is this loaded i don't know no i'm just trying to die abandon raid is the new button instead of suicide let me abandon the raid okay we're on the island of tabor right off the bat i hear like cicadas or something Chirping, birds chirping, a lot more ambient sounds. Love it. Bring some more life to the maps. We got our SIG MPX right here. Looks freaking beautiful. I slapped a suppressor on it, a red dot, and a laser. Wow, the, the map already feels so much more alive just with these sound effects. We got the waves crashing, some birds chirping. So uh, what you're watching right now is me before I've played Makam Yes, because it's not out yet. So I'm probably going to chop up the footage so this will be later in the video. Just because I want you all to see the new map first before we head into these old maps. I'm sure that's what you came here to see. There's a scab right here. I was trying to get in with the MPX. Oh yeah, that is a gun that shoots. I think they messed with the color grading too. I don't know, I could be completely wrong, but the whole map looks just different in general. The grass is moving, I don't know if it did that before. The grass is, the terrain is fixed. That's a really nice thing. The grass is actually on the ground for the most part. <laughs> and it's a little funky here, I guess. But uh, it's mostly, fit. it's still off the ground here though. But I mean, for the most part, the terrain looks much better than it did. Like, holy. Hey! Let's try and full out of this guy. Oh, no problem, dude. Minimal kick on this for sure. But man, I can't wait to play the new map. You guys have already seen it. It's going to be in like the earlier part of this video. But I haven't played it yet because I'm playing the older maps first to see what exactly has changed. Oh, we got another scav over here. I want to try and get him with the Benelli. All right, so we got the ammo here. We'll dump it into the pouch. Uh, <laughs> okay, we got most of it. That's fine. So we'll just load up a couple shells. Six, seven, eight. Wreck. Booyah. Let's put, a, put one in here too for fun. Woo! Hey, buddy. How much range does this have? Not very good range. Let's get close to this guy and just blast him. Yes, yeah, sir. Get blasted, son. I love this gun. This looks really nice. 
Oh my, I'm getting lit up, dude. Am I bleeding? I'm not bleeding. Holy shit. We are taking rounds. Ow. Ow. Scabs seem like more of a threat now. That was nuts. Okay, so by the way, look at my weight, right? I have a Gear Tech backpack with a SIG MPX in the back, a Benelli, a 1911, a Katana, a level three armor, all these meds, and we're actually equaled up to about 70 pounds or 33 kilograms. I haven't noticed a speed penalty at all. Maybe he's very, very slight. People who are worried about the weight system, just calm your tits. Look, we're fine. I'm still very fast in this kit. The only time you're gonna really notice it is if you stuff your backpack to the brim or you're wearing like juggernaut armor. Okay, you're gonna be fine. But I'm gonna try and kill these scabs real quick. Oh shit, right of ammo. Reload. This gun feels amazing. This is my new favorite gun in the game. All right, so what did they mean? They said they moved the parking garage or the parking lot. Parking lot, I think they said. I think that's, yeah, look, it's not there anymore. The junkyard. Where'd they move it to? So what's over here then? Just nothing? Okay. Yeah, nothing. Looks like nothing anymore. Yo, there's a seagull. What the hell? Yo, seagull. What up? Yo. <laughs> they added freaking birds. Aha, we got birds, baby. Bird update. I'm still looking for that freaking parking lot. I don't, is it just gone or something? I don't see it anywhere. See, they don't put that thing, they don't put that in the patch notes. You're gonna pass up that you added birds? That's, that's awesome, man. What are you doing? Look at this, see my weight? It goes down as you shoot. <laughs> Every bullet weighs 0 0.01 kilograms. If you drop your mag, that's an extra like 0.2 kilograms shaved off. I love the weight system. I don't know why people hate it so much. I, I don't want to hear it. You little loot goblins can't take all your stuff. I wonder how much stuff actually weighs. So like a, a katana, I would expect to be like a couple couple kilograms. Let's see. Actually, it's less than one, I think. 30.84. It's about one kilogram for the katana. The weight numbers are pretty low, it seems like. I feel like a katana might weigh a little more than that. Because what is that? It's like 2.3 pounds. How much does a Glock weigh, for example? See, look. Wait, I can't pick it back up. Uh-oh. All right, how about the SIG? 30.56 to 19.2 this weighs about 10 kilograms or 23 pounds or something which sounds about right the glock only weighed a couple pounds though so it looks like guns are your big thing right so i have a freaking benelli shotgun in my backpack 30.56 to 27 this only weighs like three kilograms yeah the terrain the terrain is still a little glitchy in some points but much better overall all right, but that's going to do it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the new update and let me know what you think of it. Probably going to have some kinks here and there, but for the most part, I'd say it's a really good update. I haven't noticed too many bugs or anything, but expect a ton of new content on the map, on the new weapons, all this stuff. I got so many ideas now that all this content has released and we still have wipe coming in about a month. So that's going to bring a bunch more. But if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe and like button. I would appreciate it a lot. But anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.